Chef Lori is here. Welcome back to the Love Lab. Today we're going to be making fried zucchini. I love my vegetables, especially when they're deep fried. <laughs> Come on in the kitchen, guys. Let's cook. To this fried zucchini because you know vegetables are always good <laughs> first of all this is a zucchini hmm all right we're gonna start rinse this off we're gonna start by just chopping off the end here and chopping off this part here the top okay and we're gonna cut these slices about a quarter inch thick okay you can use a mandolin but we're really not trying to shave them super thin so it's probably safer to use a knife in this case cut these a quarter inch you don't want them so thick that they can't cook, but you don't want them so thin that they just become soggy from being in the oil. Now that our zucchini is all cut up, we're going to get our skillet ready. It's that towel, you know, that keeps the cutting board from flying all over the place. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. We've got our skillet, and we're gonna let this oil start heating while we prepare our zucchini for frying. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to dip this zucchini into flour and a breadcrumb mixture. We're actually gonna use panko breadcrumbs today because I happen to be a panko fan. So I'm going to get this on the side where you guys can see me real good while this oil heats. All right, so here we've got some buttermilk. You can use buttermilk or you can use our tried and true shortcut, which is a cup of milk and about a tablespoon of vinegar. I've done that, let it sit and you see how it thickens up like we want it. And to that, I'm gonna add an egg. This is going to help the coatings stick to our buttermilk fried zucchini. Put this together nicely. There you go. Doesn't take a lot. So far, so good, right? Okay. Here we've got some plain all-purpose flour. To that, I'm gonna add a dash of salt, okay? About two teaspoons. You wanna make sure you put a little salt in here because you want all of your layers to have some flavor, okay? And here we've got panko breadcrumbs, and I got the Italian flavored panko breadcrumbs because, you know, I don't know how much flavor they really have, but I figure some flavor is better than no flavor and I can doctor it up anyway. Amen. Okay, what I'm gonna add though to this panko is some grated Parmesan cheese, because Parmesan cheese and zucchini is a winning combination. I've got one cup of the panko breadcrumbs in here, and I'm gonna add to that two tablespoons of Parmesan. And I'm gonna mix them in really good. See that? And we'll sprinkle some Parmesan on at the end too. I'm gonna add another one of these tablespoons in here because I believe I need it all. I love my cheese, y'all. Oh, this is one of my favorite appetizers at restaurants, which is one of the reasons I figured out how to make it because <laughs> I love it. All right, so we're going to get ready to start dipping our zucchini and getting them ready for frying. I hope, can y'all see me? Okay, fam. <laughs> Let me get out a glove here. I'm gonna try to do a good job with this, you know, wet hand, dry hand stuff, but y'all know me and that wet hand, dry hand method. It don't always work out <laughs> like I was hoping. <laughs> All right, thanks. just pray my strength in the Lord. All right, now, while our oil is heating, finishing heating, we're gonna take our zucchini. You're going to dip it first in the flour. See that? Okay. First coat it in flour. See that? Okay. Then we're going to put it into the buttermilk mixture. Turn this this way. Take it out and into the panko. And then we want to carefully make sure we get everything all coated. Like that. Make sure. Y'all, my wet hand, dry hand is doing okay so far. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get all of these battered up. Set it to the side, just give them a second. Flour, so I'll set a few in here. It's just an assembly project, guys. See there, flour. And make sure you get the flour all around because you really wanna make sure that this is what, you're kind of building a batter base. And the buttermilk just does, buttermilk is everything when it comes to flavors for frying. Okay, there, put that one in. And this one, see that? And here, and here, okay. Take our fork, take another one, dunk them so they're covered, they get fully immersed. We're baptizing them in buttermilk. <laughs> Baptize, immerse them fully in buttermilk. Praise the Lord. <laughs> 
Y'all, y'all know I'm a church girl, okay? I can't be nothing and nobody but who I am and who I am as a church girl. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're gonna start with these. And then I'm just using this fork to twist over, to toss over the uh, other side here so I don't totally make a disaster out of this wet hand, dry hand thing. That's also why we're getting ready to do that test this oil. I'm just gonna take a little piece of panko she is not quite ready. It'll sizzle when it's ready. So in the meantime, we'll just continue getting these all breaded up and ready to go. All right, looks like our oil is sizzling now. So what I try to recommend is even when your oil is sizzling and everything is good, put one in first as a tester, okay? Just to be sure. This oil is hot, so we're gonna take one. And there we go, she's starting to fry up, perfect. Go ahead and place the rest of these in here. Do not overcrowd your pan because when you put the food in here, it's gonna have to make the oil cool off a little bit. If you overcrowd your pan, they're just gonna steam and not fry. And we want these to fry up nice and crispy. My heat is on medium high because we need a nice, good sizzle going. But don't go too high. Be careful because if your oil gets too hot, it's just gonna burn the outside. Okay. About two or three minutes on each side is really all you need, but just check them to make sure it's like you want it. And I'm using just a little spatula here. I'm just gonna take this one and just flip it gently. See how pretty those come out? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Summer vegetables, y'all, summer vegetables. Who says that we don't eat vegetables in Calabama? Anybody tell you that, say, Lori don't cook vegetables. You say, oh yes, she does. They say, y'all over there in Alabama eat nothing but carbohydrates. You tell them, oh, no, we're not. We are eating apple vegetables. We are healthy people. <laughs> oh yeah, let them get a nice golden brown. And you can dip these in a simple ranch dressing. You can make a, a dip if you want to, but just a simple ranch dressing is really good. Garlic aioli is fine as well. You got options, baby. See how this is not taking long at all. Let it set though before you start to turn them so that you've gotten all of the uh, batters and the um, bread on top of it, but let it sit in the oil so it can really come together, okay? And I've let this cook long enough so that the inside is gonna be nice and soft as well. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? This is a really fun, easy, quick appetizer or side dish, you can cut these up into shapes like fries and make zucchini fries out of them. I've seen that done. It's the same process. And that Parmesan coating on there with the breadcrumb, the panko is everything. You can use regular breadcrumbs if you don't have panko. Panko is just crispier. All right, as those come off, we're just going to hit them with a little Parmesan on top. Okay. I'm gonna fry up the rest of these and then I will be back and I will show you the finished result. Well, everybody, I have fried up all of the zucchini. Look how beautiful it is. I wanna put it back here so you can see it, but the stove top is still a little hot. But do you see how beautiful and golden brown this is? And I'm gonna sprinkle the tops with a little bit more Parmesan cheese. Oh, oh man, this is so pretty. This is like a plate of goodness, you know, to me, <laughs> in my opinion. And you can, so you can dip this in a ranch or you can even make a little aioli. I'm gonna take this one, the Parmesan on there. Perfect. Mm. I love this. I'm eating my vegetables. That's what we do in Calabama. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me, family. I'll see you next time right here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with your girl, Chef Lorius. Happy cooking, eat your vegetables. <laughs>